Hello everybody, Mr. Storm here. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. In the last episode, we got the Ballista on its way to Duna. S did a slingshot maneuver around the moon to get a little extra energy, and then headed out into interplanetary space to eventually head to Duna. So, that's where that is, and we set up that maneuver, get the rendezvous, so that is all on its way and ready to go. So in between uh, the last episode and today is I went ahead and I did advance time a bunch. Um, a few months, several months at least. And also I did some work on the Kerbalon 1 station. Which we'll go ahead and take a look at. It might take a minute to load, but I added some additional lithium fuel tanks. Uh, I also added a nuclear fuel reprocessor to it. And I ran some mining flights to bring up the ore needed to fill out the lithium. Also, in all that time, a bunch more science data was processed, so I transferred that back to Kerbin. So we have a pretty good uh, you know, pool of science to spend on something. And I'm beginning to think of another mission to run, which I would probably need a third vessel. So I might, might start building a third Ballista class starship. I guess if that's what we're going to call it. Because I'd like to get a manned mission to Eve. I'm going to have to start uh, figuring out how to land and take back off from Eve, because Eve has a very thick atmosphere, which makes returning to orbit from the surface complicated. Okay, so here's all of our new lithium fuel tanks. I went and designed a new miner. So this is the new mining vehicle, which carries a lot more ore using these, uh, these container modules. To hold the ore. Much, much larger, heavier vehicle. Works fairly well. Let's see, we got two years, 363 days of life support here. That's fine. Here's the new uh, nuclear fuel uh, reprocessor that'll allow me to either. Um, convert depleted fuel back into a rich uranium or I can also extract xenon which I might actually do I'll need to bring up some tanks that I can attach here um, that'll hold xenon but that should be fine and figuring out where I'm gonna eventually dock the ballista ships the ballista class ships it's going to be interesting because the only exposed two and a half meter docking port is on the aft section which could work I could dock them like at the ends here eh, I'll think about it Or I could try to use these 1.25 meter ports. But yeah, this is this is going to be refueling those vessels when they're done their missions. So that's why I needed all this extra lithium here. It's even still probably won't be enough. So I got five tanks. I'd probably need three more 
to be able to completely refuel from nothing one of those vehicles, but that's all right. Okay. So for now, um, we are at the transfer window for Jewel. We're very, very close to it. We're about eight, about a week out, I think. I mean, we could start heading out now. So we need to get a crew up to the Arbalest. Where, why is it not letting me do that? All right, well, I'll just. What's it doing? Okay. That's fine. Weird. Okay, so we're going to need to launch a crew up to the Arbalest, which we're going to be using one of the um, Slingbow uh, SSTOs for that. Let's make sure I didn't do anything silly here. No, there we are. Okay. And the Arbalest has the wrong symbol again. Alright, well, we'll fix that once we get up there. Because I did take up a large life support tank to the Arbalest um, that is basically the same mass as the lander vehicle to kind of counterbalance it. Hopefully it will provide enough life support for the whole mission. If not, I'll have to figure something out. All right, so it's going to be one of the Slingbow vehicles. We're going to need to figure out who is going to actually fly it. We'd probably get one of the newbies to fly it. Let's see. Erwig Kerman and an engineer. Uh, Rebemi Kerman. Okay. And... Who we're going to be taking up as the crew. We're going to take our experienced crew. So Haven is going to go. Uh, Dealey and Tamful. And I need another pilot. I to get Dilden Kerman there. Is that right? I think so. All right. You go in there. I did not choose the names. They're just randomly generated. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and launch it. Let's see if I remember how to fly this thing. Don't need that right now. All right, turn the brakes on. So we want to activate our engines. Probably just going to turn the volume here down because these things are loud. All right. All right. Release 
the brakes. like the entire runway. All right, stabilize. Oh, this has got the uh, limit Q on. Nope, we don't want to do that. Good. Right, we'll climb up to about, what's it, uh, around 15,000 meters or so, then try to level off a little bit, build up some speed before we get too high for the engines. Good, uh, it's good shock heating here. Alright, start nosing down a little bit. Bring that nose down. I want to accelerate. Just wait, starting to drop off, losing, losing air. This one just a orbit. Now we're 
below one. Balls were still accelerating. Alright, starting to drop off down to 0.5. I think this is it. Let's switch modes. There we are. Engage the other engines. This height. We're starting to heat up. Fifty thousand, sixty thousand. All right, we're above the atmosphere and kill the throttle. Alright, and kill the rapiers. And let's start getting ready for the circularization maneuver. Get the uh, autopilot ready. Current altitude. Well, actually, I'll go ahead and just do this. Ninety-five thousand meters. Yeah, we're losing some, we're losing some altitude. Let me just uh, speed us up until we're above the atmosphere. There we go. All right, turn on RCS. How much Delta V do I have available? 1100, oh, perfect. That should be more than enough. need to use up that RCS there. Okay. What I'd actually like to do is we'll go on prograde.
elevate apoapsis to 200. Recircularize. All right, the crew aboard the Singblow has 14 days. They can stay in orbit before they have to come back home. Well, about 10 days they can stay in orbit before they have to come back home. All right, so now I just need to do rendezvous and docking. Which I will probably take care of that here off screen for a second. What did I forget to? Okay, that set us target. All right, yeah, I'll go ahead and take care of all the rendezvous and everything because that's going to take a little bit. I'll be back here in a moment. Okay, we are about to dock. And man, is it really slowing down here with all this equipment coming together. This is the big life support con uh, container that I've installed. Yeah, I can't actually look at it yet until we're docked. Yeah, the, uh... The RCS on this thing is so strangely arranged that it, it gets hard to hard to dock with, which is why I use the autopilot for it. Alright, so we are good and docked. Alright, so let's go ahead and transfer the crew on board. All right. Come on. Let's try that again. Transfer crew. There we go. I'm gonna move everybody into the habitation area first. There we go. And then transfer the last of them. There. Good. Alright, with that done, we're going to go ahead and undock. Actually, I'm going to switch to 
The sling bow and stability. Okay. Um, where are we controlling? Control from here for the time being. Alright, so that I can push that away. Alright, there we go. And I'll recontrol from there. Close that up. Alright, while that's drifting away, I'm going to switch back. To here. We're going to go ahead and turn the lights on. And go ahead and get the rotation started. And what kind of time am I looking at? Two years, 67 days. Yeah, that's not right. Because what I need to do is I need to start the life support there. There we go. Start agroponics. There we go. And then that will give us four years, 294 days. That's not enough. We need to double that at least. I need to bring up another one. Probably dock it somewhere. And who's the engineer? Tamful. Come on. <sighs> okay. This can be somewhat annoying sometimes. Transfer crew. I don't think I actually need to have the crew in there. I just does not want to do it. All right, well, let's just switch back to the, uh, to this guy. And let's get it out of here. to get at least two kilometers away. Or lower our periapsis. Don't want to go any lower than 70. That'll do. There we go. It's unloaded physics. Okay. Now, where is KSC? There it is. 
Okay. Now, I'm going to need the landing guidance. Not that I'm actually going to use it, but I will need it to show landing predictions. All right. Show arrow break nodes. I don't know what that means. All right, so if I wanted to add a maneuver over here. All right, now I have re-entry, okay. See, periapsis size is gonna be around 30. Okay, that's good. Now, let's see, we'll just time this right. That ought to hopefully work. All right, there we go. Get rid of that and I'll turn all that off so that it doesn't uh, impact our performance here. And then we'll go ahead and uh, execute the node and we'll bring these guys home. Actually, abort the node execution. We have 12 minutes. Um, I need to rebalance our fuel, right. Engine nacelles. No, uh, in. Push everything to the engine nacelles. And then we balance to. Oh no, we're gonna do in, in, in. All right, to pull everything out of there. And then we'll do balance, balance, balance. No, in. Balance. There we go. Balance. 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 We need to keep everything nice and balance to the front. For liquid fuel. Now for oxidizer. See, yeah, we want to throw everything in there. And then to there, Fusion Launch C. Actually, uh, throw stuff into these this fuel tank. And into that fuel tank as well. Actually, uh, balance between those two. There we go. There we are. Now, after that burn, out of this burn, we're going to dump all the oxidizer because we won't need it again. All right, auto warp.
All right, maneuver's done. All right, put ourselves on prograde. And then go ahead and dump the oxidizer. We'll make sure that we're going to re-enter. Yeah, we're going to re-enter. We'll be fine. Um, we're on, we are on oxidizer. Yep. Go ahead and dump. Dump all the oxidizer. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, warp to atmospheric interface. Right, I want to try and keep that nose at about that angle. Alright, so yeah, we should be coming in over the desert. I'm gonna keep the RCS on because it'll help. Alright, we are slowing down. Now this is coming up a bit too much. Let's uh, go back to one times. Now, actually, I want to turn turn those engines off. Turn those engines on, and make sure that they're on air breathing mode. Yep, they're on air breathing mode. All right, good. Periapsis is negative, so we are going to hit the ground if we don't do anything. All right, let's go back to time acceleration. Come on, keep it, uh, keep it stable. We're not going to overshoot. We're probably going to overshoot. Well, we slowed down a lot. Yep, and there's KSC. So we're gonna we're gonna way overshoot. All right, turn the uh, turn the RCS off. 
Let's go back to surface. All right, so we're gonna have to, uh, oh, let's uh, go back to time warp. Right, let's do some uh, S turns. See if we can bleed off some speed and some altitude. We're, we're dropping pretty good. Dropping pretty good. Oh, don't want to don't want to nose down that hard. I'm just a glorified glider, but I do have fuel, so I can throttle up, but I don't need to. So they want to do that. All right, let's actually uh, let's give it a little gas. Just a little. Gear down. And the throttle down, throttle down, throttle down. Uh, brakes, air brakes. Slow it down, slow it down. Okay. Ooh. What happened there? I didn't think I hit that hard. Well, something didn't work there. Is, is that the only pit that survived? Okay, well, that did not exactly go as planned. Man, 
It's not like I slammed into the ground. Well. I guess I'll have to get myself a new pilot and a new engineer. Oh well. Okay, so... What are we gonna do next? Well, for one thing, I'm gonna have to uh, repair the runway. There we go. All right. All right, well, let's get over the arbalest. All right, let me just double check everything again. See, now it's saying I've got 11 years of life support on board. I guess it must just not have been updating properly. 11 years of life support will work. And we just lost the light. Okay, well, I guess if that's the case, then we are pretty much ready to go to head to Jewel. So you don't know what start habitat. 100% load. Alright, so let's see if it'll let me transfer crew now. Alright, Haven's a pilot. Transfer to the control unit. The cockpit. Come on. There we go. Dealey, no, who's the other pilot? You are. Transfer you there. All right, sounds good for now. Let's see what we would need to do here. Where is the moon? The 
moon is there. So slingshot might work. But let me just check something. Maneuver planner, because I think there's an option for... Um, Alright, we would want to set Jewel as target. Transfer to another planet. What node would work here? It would want to do it in 425 days. That doesn't work. Oh, actually, one other thing I need to do here is, um, get the correct icon there. All right. So you're going to throw that maneuver together. that throw me relative to that so yeah that would do a full escape with only 850 meters per second with a periapsis of 32,000 meters all right that would be a seven minute long burn Let's go ahead and get it going. Now we undergo the slow process of getting this thing oriented correctly. And then uh, getting the uh, the maneuver run. Oh, um, we need to fire up the reactors. That is one thing that I haven't done. Come on. Give me control of the reactor, please. There we go. Turn them on.
Well, I guess I'll go ahead and do is pause the recording while this gets taken care of, and then right when this is about to be done, at least the, the whole maneuver is about to be done, then I'll be back. All right, we're just about there. 30 seconds, according to the game, but, um, you know, how that is. Might need some adjustments after this is done, because, uh, we're not exactly on trajectory. Well, we'll see how it goes. thing is I don't know what the resultant orbit is going to be until we uh, we advance a little bit all right we're starting to interact with the moon yeah we're not quite gonna get it Stop the node execution. Let's get rid of that and let's figure out how we can make an adjustment here to get well, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and orient myself prograde. I'm just gonna fire the engines. Eventually, we'll get an escape trajectory. Yep, the periapsis is dropping. go all right now if I were to orient myself radial in man this thing needs the RCS in order to be able to do any kind of maneuvers here to be careful about that because I don't want to burn through too much of it.
burn through way too much RCS. All right, now. Let's see what happens if I fire the engines up. And we drop our periapsis. Well, the periapsis at the MUN. So I'd like to get that really close pass if at all possible. Actually, let me see. How are we oriented? So I want to be careful about how much of my Delta V I'm spending. To get an extra kick here. Still could use a little more. All right, that'll do. All right, then let me go ahead and warp. Warp to there. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, there we are. And our resultant orbit is going to look like what? It's going to look like that, all right? Now, what if I try to take advantage? I believe it would be the Oberth effect. If I added a maneuver here. And I were to add some energy. Yeah, it isn't really doing what I wanted to do, so no, we'll, we'll hold off on that. We'll just use this slingshot. All right, well, the uh, the radiators are complaining a little bit. So what I'll go ahead and do is shut the reactors down. So we don't need them on for now. Let them bleed off some heat. And we'll get this out in the interplanetary space. Okay, there we are. Now, I should just be able to do a standard transfer orbit. 
One year, 117 days, four hours to do the final transfer. It wants to be 2,300. That seems rather aggressive, doesn't it? Let's see. Let's have it calculate again. Nope, I'm going to do the same thing. Alright. Well, let's see if I can adjust that a little bit. Jewel. Alright. Now that is going to be an impact trajectory, which I don't want to have. Alright, let's see what this does if I start to... Okay. Now, that'll bring me like this. I don't I want to come in on that side. I want to come in on the other side. Oh, hold on. Yeah, something like that. Well, that's interesting. That would get me a lathe encounter. Let's say I added a little bit. Now this is gonna be an 18 minute burn. So what I'll probably need to do Okay, yeah, that's that's overkill. Yes, yeah, so that that's never actually going to happen. So, um, what I'll need to do is do the burn first. Then see where it ends up, and then make adjustments from there. But I think that that is good, at least to start with, anyway. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and end this episode here. And then, uh... See how things are going to go. Uh, next time and um, we'll probably be running our Duna encounter next time with the uh, with the blister all right so for now we'll go ahead and stop here so hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching go ahead like subscribe and comment and I will see you next time